What's up everybody, Cook Crimps here at strawberrycurlpar.com. I've got another video question to answer. Well, what should the discus, uh, where should the discus hit its high point and help with orbit in the discus? As I'm winding the discus, I'm fairly neutral. Um, how far back is not part of orbit, that's how much stretch you can actually maintain. So there are a lot of athletes who step, stop here, there's a lot of athletes that go one much wider back. But the discus is fairly neutral through the back of the ring. When we kind of set up, start setting up our orbit, I think about right foot touchdown, the disc is actually being at its highest point here. And so I'm in this position at right foot touchdown. I want the disc as high so that it can actually come back down to low at power position so it can come back to height um, at release. When I'm thinking about the orbit of the discus, just think as the discus passes the back of the ring once we establish kind of power position, that as the discus gets closer to the ring, if we're throwing from power, practicing power throws, it should get high as I wind it up, back and up. Don't wind it down here, that would be bad. Okay, there are low points here, or high points here, but I'm throwing this way, so that's problematic. Wind up, it's gonna come down, to pull it back up. And so that setup of high, touchdown, and dropping the left into the power position, the discus is at its high point before we pull it back around that orbit. High point the discus at right foot touchdown. Think about winding up in power position and think about hitting the height of our release. We should be here at release. Hope this helps, throw big, throw far.